In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make alternative finish stands. The first thing that we'll do is we're going to set our table saw to cut at two inches. It's important to use half inch plywood to do this, which is what I've got right here. And I'll go ahead and make my first cut, flip it, make a cut, flip it, you'll see. Now the conventional way that I've seen people make these in the past is to cut a square out like this, find the center by connecting the diagonals, then drilling out the center with a drill bit that's slightly smaller than the nail that we're going to use. Now we'll take the nail, put it through the center, and we're going to hammer it in. And that is essentially it. Of course you'll want to dull the point with a hammer. You can use a sander as well to grind it off, but that seems to work pretty good. What I like about this is that the three quarter inch nail just barely sticks up above the surface. That means if I happen to drop it on the floor and step on it, it's only gonna be about a quarter of an inch that'll go into my shoe. Now, if I were barefoot, it wouldn't help me any, but then again, I don't suggest woodworking in your bare feet. And while these do a, an excellent job of holding up whatever work that you're working on to spray it, flip it over, and then spray it again, the thing that I don't like about these is that they are not stackable. They don't nest. They're very difficult to keep track of. You can kind of stack them like this, maybe go like this. But as you can see, they're, they're just very difficult to do anything with. I'm sure that most people know with their workshops, you wanna be able to have a place for everything. And this just does not work. Now you can buy these cones. They'll lift your work off the surface. Once again, they've got the point on it just like the blocks that we made. But what I like about these is that they nest. They're just so easy to store inside my cabinet. Now you could buy four of these, but looking at them online right now, they're going for about $2 a piece. So that's $8 for four of them. Now let's go back to the beginning. After you've cut them out, we'll once again draw an X on the top. We'll use an all in the center. And now we're gonna drill these out at 5 16 of an inch. I went ahead and drilled all eight holes for all the eight blocks. Now we're gonna take a, a ruler and we're gonna find the center of one side. Because these are two inches by two inches, I'll find the center at one inch. Then I'll use a square to draw a line across. We'll come back over the table saw and we're going to take our block and find about the center where the center tooth is. And we're going to raise this up so that it just barely goes, hits that inside of the hole, just like that. And now I'll move my fence over and I'm going to go to the one inch that would be the center, but then you've got to account for the blade. Because I've got a 3 16 inch blade, I'm going to want to find the half of that. So right about there my block right up next to that fence and I'll cut straight through the center. Now I get it. I know some people don't like to get their, their fingers that close on with their table saw. If you would rather use a, a bandsaw, it works just as well. You just need to make sure that you widen it enough that it's about 3 16 of an inch. After these are all cut out, we'll come over and we'll find the center in this block. And we're just going to make a mark. It really doesn't need to be exactly centered, but just somewhere along this line. Then I'll drill this out with a drill bit that's slightly smaller than the nail that will go into it. Just like before, we'll add our nail through the hole. Again, tap the top. And there we go. Now when it's time to store it, they easily nest within each other. And there you go, easy to store and easy to put away. But if you wanna get a little bit more fancy, we'll make another block. 
We'll find the center again. We'll take a 5 8 drill bit. We'll drill down, but we only want to drill down enough that the quarter inch cap of our carriage bolt is below the surface. And if we look at this, it's just a little bit below the surface. That's good. Then we'll use a quarter inch drill bit to go the rest of the way. We'll add a nut. And we'll use a wrench to pull it into the wood the full way. You could add a little bit of epoxy on the bottom. For this video, I'm not gonna do that. And then we'll just slide our pieces on. And then just like before, we'll line these up. And it works just as well as these, as well as the bench cones. Just like these expensive bench cones, they very easily fit in my cabinet.